What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Got Another Pick Wrong, but it's okay. I'm not going to let anyone take this one away from me uh, because I'm very happy I'm wrong. I'm very, very happy. Uh, not only did Oliveira get a win, uh, he got a TKO stoppage, which I was predicting if he were to win, it'd be by stoppage in the first round. Now, with that being said, my official prediction, yes, was Benil, but... I am never going to doubt this man again. He looked incredible, and I'm never going to pick against him, uh, you know, but, and we'll get into that, but um, yeah, I'm just going to talk about my opinions on this fight and uh, where both guys kind of go from here, and yeah, so let's get right into it. This is Charles' best performance um, since his, like, top tier, like, from Kevin Lee to now, this is his best performance, I think. Um, he didn't get rocked at all. He didn't get dropped once, which is, which is great, you know? Um, and you know, he, he fucked up, he, you know, when he pulled guard, he fucked up a trip where he was supposed to end up on top. But even though he accidentally ended up on bottom, he did not let Benil get anything going. Like, <laughs> yes, it looks like Benil's winning the round, but in terms of damage, Oliver is landing more. And the, the statistics were like ground strikes 0 to 18 for Benny and I'm like yo are you not seeing these like back fists and like el elbows that Charles is landing in the guard um and the up kicks too even like Benil really didn't damage him all that much didn't really get anything f through and I'm sure it was mentally breaking for Benil to have you know be in one of his better positions and still get nothing off you know he's probably thinking F what the fuck like <laughs> i'm on top of this guy and i'm not winning and he seems to be fine with being there um you know benny's not used to that he's pro he's never fought anyone like that so yeah and it also wore benny out too you know um he slipped the punches amazingly he he got right out of center line when benny was throwing the left hand multiple times i was very happy to see that um because that that's the shot I thought he was gonna have trouble with and I think it may have hit him once or twice but you know it was nothing nothing horrible for Oliver he took it um Oliver senses the kill right away he senses the finish you know what I mean and um when they both got up from the ground I was like okay let's see where the rest of this round goes and the next thing I know Oliver is on top done he landed that head kick that landed on the guard and then just kept following up and it's like if this guy hurts you you're done you know what I mean and that's why I let me talk about that later <laughs> um, great defense on his back uh, he was blocking most of the shots most of the elbows and punches that Benny was trying to throw they were getting blocked either by his shoulder or his arm and uh, I love that and he threatened the submission he had the the ankle or heel hook I think um and I, I I honestly thought he was gonna get it right there which would have been just as crazy but um, I'm more happy he got a TKO because his last two wins have been submissions he hasn't got a TKO since Michael Chandler and so yeah I'm happy to you know of course he has the most submissions in the UFC I'm sure he'll get to 20 but to get another TKO in the books it's great you know he made me cry when he won, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Not right when he won, but before I went to bed, <laughs> I watched the fight again, and I watched him cut his promo on the mic in English, where he's just like, hello, Canada, champion as a name. And I'm just like, I, it, it brought tears to my eyes, man. Like, I'm so happy to see him won. He did what I thought he would do to Islam Makachev, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. So, great job, Charles Oliveira, and good job for Benny for lasting longer than Justin Gaethje. <laughs> um, but now let's talk, in, let, let's talk about what we really want to talk about, okay? We all know how the fight went. The Islam rematch, okay? What I was about to say before I cut myself off on that last slide is if Oliveira hurts Makachev, I think it's over. You know what I mean? I think he senses the kill and I think he gets him out of there um, but he has to hurt him which is the hard part 
So how does the Islam rematch go? I think Islam is the safer pick, guys. I still think that just based on how the last fight went and, you know, his defensive striking. and He's a great fighter. As much as I'm pissed he beat Oliveira, um, I would have to go with Islam. I don't think it'd be as easy, though. I think Oliveira will, no matter what, be more game and know what to expect and hopefully know not to pull guard you know i think he shouldn't be comfortable on the ground with islam i think striking like i honestly give the advantage to Oliveira, but he's got to stay off his back <laughs> um before the fight we called benny a mere matchup to islam we i know it doesn't mean everyone i know a ton of people are rocking with charles all the way but a ton of people that i was hearing from and uh other people on YouTube that I watched, they were all saying like, yo, Benny's like a mere matchup for Islam. So I'm not saying I necessarily thought that, but you know, it was the consensus consensus opinion. Okay. Uh, again here, I say, I think Oliver can win against Makachev, but it has to be in the first, <laughs> I said fort, but I mean, first few rounds, first or second, I think that's it. Um, and yeah, uh, one more time, I think he will, no matter what, have a better performance. They'll probably hurt each other at least once, which is what I thought was going to happen against Benny, but that obviously never happened. Um, and I never wanted to make excuses for Olive's losing the first fight against Islam, but he really didn't look like himself out there. You know, he looked kind of lost and confused. So uh, I didn't, I didn't like that, and I saw it right away in the cage. I was like, oh, what the fuck. Um, and you know, it makes me wonder that maybe something really crucial happened in the training camp. Maybe he had a horrible weight cut and, uh, you know, he, de he looked leaner in this fight. He didn't look as buffed up as he did in the Islam fight. So maybe he just had a better weight cut. You know, I, I don't know, but, um, I hope he wins his belt back. I really think he can do it. I think he's fully capable. He's got the skills, um, but he needs to show up according to him. And just my last little note here, just saying it again, I legit teared up. I am so happy for my guy, Oliveira. Um, like I say, he's one of my favorites, and this win meant a lot to the division, you know? Because if Benil won, we'd have Benil versus Islam as a title fight in a pay-per-view. Um, and Benil would be a boring champion. <laughs> So, yeah, um, like I said, I'm praying for him to get the belt back again. Uh, Charles Dubronx, my headphones just fell, guys. Charles Dubronx forever, okay? One of the best lightweights of all time. I'll see you guys in the next video. I got to eat my words. I got my pick wrong, but I did say if Oliveira was going to win, it would be quick. So, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.